Yeah. Respect to my ancestors. We the first to go with the slavery, the Arawak people. Nation, first nation of the Caribbean. Yeah, for hundred years ago, when I discovered Christ of the Lord, I took a man like one of my own. Gave him food and gave him some gold. Little did the Arabic know, he was going to spend a ton of snow. He had that with an army to woe. When the art took it, ripped off the women, cut off the others, I will flip it. Blast us into Catholic religion. Now we speak Spanish and English. Could not put here and change our last names. Now you go by Jose Lopez, and she go by Lucas Baez. A classification to hide our nations. Try with your fishes to cover the traces. Damn, it's fucked up, nigga. Psycho tracks. Every grab a gun and drop bodies. In the ring, maybe wanna drink till I blow up my leg. We lost everything, DNA still with us. American flag beats, calling out Vegas. We still see it up all of these wings. Cops still dealing, we still pointing fingers. Cops still dealing, we still pointing fingers. So they go cock holding to yell. Let me bless my brother out there. So I got arrow whacking now. Thank God, my people have well. So I eat no low coal, no sales. Jack my part is warring now. So I eat no low coal, no sales. Jack my part is warring now. So they go cock holding to yell. Let me bless my brother out there. So I got arrow whacking now. Thank God, my people. Thank you guys for coming to the Grow Shoe Training Arts page. You know it's your boy, Wind Dragon. I've been waiting uh, some time to make this video. That was a song I released last year. I'm just trying to flow in my blood because the information is in my blood because it's all DNA. You know what I mean? I don't just have to read my history, but I'm reliving it in my own life. You know, my skills, my talents, the way I feel, how I think, how I perceive the world, my spirit, my victories. I know all of that comes from somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, I feel so connected to my ancestors. It's, it's crazy, man. Like, if you could go into my mind right now, it's like I could just... When I look at the rear view mirror in my car, I just see like a line of like billions of ancestors, man. And their struggle and everything that they had to overcome, achieve, endure so that I could be right here right now. Daka Arawak, Daka Taino, Daka Garibo, Seneco Kakona Tiao, Taino Ti, Taigwe, say Taigwe because the sun is out, it's daytime. I know we were taught when I was raised in a Hispanic household, I was taught to say, Hola, como estas? Que tal? But what were we speaking before the Spanish language? In the Caribbean, who were we? Were we savages? No, bro. We was not. We was chiefs. We were kings. We were royalty. 
for 3,000 years plus in the Caribbean and Florida and down south, possibly predating even the Seminole. Possibly. We had connections with the Seminole. And respect to the Seminole because, my gosh, man, you guys really put in some work with the revolts and put an end to chattel slavery. It was the Seminole Wars. My people, the Arawak Taino people, growing up, I looked up to so many other cultures, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Korean, the Nepalese, you know, um, the North American Indians, the Indians from India, you know, the Italians. I looked up to cultures that embodied community and unity and a unified power. I respected that growing up. But then you get to an age where you must question why, who, when, how. This video is not going to be a detailed breakdown. But I'm going to expose some of my hidden history as far as the Caribbean goes, the island of Boating Ken, the island of Haiti, Hispaniola, Cuba. Do you see the powerful UFC fighters right now coming out of Cuba? Huh? Do you see him? Yoel Romero. <laughs> the other one, uh, the baddest, the, the BMF. You know who he is. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a female fighter too. See? We warriors, man. That's all I have to tell you. We warriors. I know so many of us represent that warrior spirit the wrong way in the gang life, in the prison life. But the reason I feel is that we are not taught our history. And so we have all this internal aggression. It's amazing how boxing is so popular in the Caribbean. Um, so let's get to it. Cacique, in the Arawak and Taino Locono language, it means chief. One of our, out of many, because, see, there are so many, you know what I mean? There are so many. Cacique Enrequillo. Enrequillo. I believe this cacique um, is, was located in what we would consider to be the Dominican Republic or Santo Domingo today. And he led a revolt against the, against the Sp Spanish. Man, when you look at Geronimo, um, the North American Indians, legend Geronimo, uh, I think Red Cloud and all these warriors that are very respected on these lands in the battlefield. When you look at the Japanese samurai, Yamamoto, Musashi, when you look at the European uh, gladiators, you know, Spartacus and, and, and uh, Leonidas, you know, as a Hispanic, it's almost like we... Don't even know that we have these legendary warriors in our bloodline. And Requillo was one of those guys, man. If you look at his statue, man, this is a, a warrior Indian, man. I mean, he this, this, this man, you know, was zealous about saving our culture. He was zealous. He gathered his... His Indians, his, his Indian warrior followers, and they took it to the Spanish. 
They took it to the Spanish. And Requillo, remember his name, he has a holiday in the Santo Domingo every single year. That many of us in the Americas that have the, this bloodline from the Caribbean, we don't even celebrate that. We celebrate Christmas and Columbus Day and all these American holidays, yet we don't celebrate our very own. Cacique Enriquillo. Respect his name, honor his name. If you're Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, or from the Caribbean, you must respect Enriquillo. Okay? Respect that. He was a warrior. Okay? He brought it to the Spanish. Cacique Agua Baña Cacique Agua Baña Agua Baña Agua Baña Agua Baña was another Ch Taino Arawak and chief that fought against the Spanish. El Bravo. They call him Cacique Agua Baña El Bravo. He was known as the tough man because he was a warrior. You understand? El Bravo. He was known as a warrior, a tough man. He was not known as a coward. Okay? Cacique Agua Baña El Bravo Cacique Agua Baña Remember the name Honor it If you're Puerto Rican Dominican Cuban you must respect this name from here on out going forward after you watch this video. We are Native American Indians. We are not from Spain. Stop calling us Latin and Latino. I don't come go. I don't. I wasn't born in Spain. People from Spain don't look like me. People from Spain are European. Get your facts straight. America you need to fix your census when it comes to Hispanic people. We are claiming our identity right now. The Arawak and Taino Indian is not dead. He is alive in full effect and in power and bigger than ever. Cacique Agua Baña El Bravo. Respect the name, honor the name. We didn't just give up to Spain. We fought back. We fought back. Okay. And one of the main reasons that we lost our lands is not because the Spanish were tougher, greater, or more technologically advanced as far as weaponry. It was that they sickened us with diseases. They sickened us with diseases, biological warfare we were not used to getting sick and so diseases foreign diseases from europe made us sick and so when we fought we fought ill we were sick on the battlefield <laughs> Cacique Yoisa Luisa, another cacique, another chief, but she was a female. You ever see our Hispanic women and how tough they are, how strong they are? They're tough, they're strong. They have a warrior spirit. It, it, it almost like you don't even want to disrespect them. 
You know what I mean? That is because in the Caribbean, we had female chiefs. You could even say female kings or queens, but they were rulers. Cacique Yoisa Loisa. Respect the name. If you are Puerto Rican, Cuban, or Dominican, or from the Caribbean, you must honor the name of Cacique Yoisa Luisa, a female chief of the Caribbean. Respect her name. You understand? I'm giving you Hispanic Chill younger people, youth, teenagers, young men, or even adults that don't know this history is real. Okay? As far as the dates and the details, you're going to have to research that yourself. It's too long for me to get that in a short video like this. Cacique, Yoisa, Luisa, respect the name. She was a female Arawak and Taino chief of the Caribbean. I think she ruled either Aidi which is Haiti, or Santo Domingo, I'm not sure at that time, that was just one land, IET, and it was and it was populated by Arawak and Taino Indians. That's before the Africans came, after 1492, with Christopher Columbus. Shout out to the Native American Indian female chief, Khalifa, because California was named after her. But I'm not going to get into that. That's a, that's a whole other topic. And that's dealing with a whole other place, even though all Indians from North America, Central America, South America, we was all one nation. That's the other thing that they don't want to tell you. OK, but I'm breaking it down. For you fellow Boricuas, for you Dominicanos, for you Cubanos, I'm breaking it down for you. Okay, shout out to my Haitianos, shout out to my Jamaicanos, shout out to all people from the Caribbean. I got nothing but love for you. We're all connected. We're all one people, one nation. In fact, shout out to North American Indians because we knew each other long time ago before the European came here and somehow we've been divided. So shout out to you, Arawak and Taino Nation wants to give a shout out to all indigenous aboriginal people all around the world. Because we've been all colonized and conquered by the European. Okay. And I'm going to give you one last one because I don't want this video to go too long. Okay. Cacique Atue. Cacique Atue. Cacique Atue. Respect the name probably known as the greatest Arawak and Taino chief of the Caribbean that ever lived. The most decorated chief. Cacique Atue. Some people say he may have even been greater than Geronimo here in North America. I don't know. I'm not trying to do a comparison, but he was at <coughs> that level of respect at that standard in the battlefield. And he also he also fought against the Spanish. But Atue, Atue was burned alive because the Catholic priest were trying to get my ancestors to convert into Catholicism promising them some form of salvation of etern of eternity in heaven. But Atwe turned around and said, why would I want to go to heaven if you're going to be there? I don't want to be in heaven with you. I would rather burn in hell. Why would I want to go to heaven with you Catholics when you Catholics of that time are massacring my people and you're preaching some white Jesus Christ, yet you are massacring my people for no reason. We've done nothing to you, Spanish people. You understand? So Atue, Atue, Cacique, Atue, Cacique, Atue, and his fellow brethren, Taino Arawakan Indians, his followers, his brethren, 
died on a stake being burned to death. Okay? Now I know the European has reclassified you so many times, even in the early, in the uh, late 1800s, they, they reclassified the name Taino Indian to black, basically creating paper genocide against the Puerto Rican when we were Taino Arawak and Indians. We were not known as a color, but as a nation. You understand? So, Cacique Atue, I honor you in your memory and how you stood for our culture. You understand? And that's very important. He was located in the island of Cuba, okay, where many Taino Arawak and Indians during the, 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 you know, the Indian Holocaust that was happening in the Caribbean, they fled and they hid in the mountains because they knew the land a lot more. So the Arawak and Taino culture is still alive. It's practiced in New York. It's practiced in Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo, Cuba, Jamaica. Uh, it's practiced um, uh, in different states in the in, in here in America, Florida. They have a chapter. I am not a part of any uh, chapter or organization. I am just a self-educated person on my history that is learning daily about what it means to be a Taino Arawakan Indian. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming to the Guoshu Training Arts page. This is Brother Wind Dragon. And I am so proud of who I am in my bloodline. I love my culture. I'm learning so much. And these caciques, these chiefs I've mentioned, there are so many more. There's thousands of more that I don't even know about. My son is named after Cacique Abe, who was a chief, another chief out of hundreds of thousands of chiefs from Borinquen, Puerto Rico. We are warriors. That is who we are. That's our ancestry. We are warriors. We are one with nature. We are one with the creator. Okay? So, Seneco Kakona Tiao means many blessings to you, my brothers. All right? I love you guys. This video is not made to be angry at the European, okay? This video is not a, a anti-Semitic video. This is not an anti-anybody video. This video I make to encourage you, if you are of my culture, to encourage you, to empower you. You don't need to walk around with your head down confused on oh, your identity, okay? I just laid it out for you. Go do your research, all right? All right. And it doesn't mean that we have hatred towards Spain or this is not about hate. This is actually about love. OK, because we got to forgive the past is the past. OK, I don't walk around with hatred towards no color. You understand? My grandmother, rest in peace. Mommy Vicky taught me to walk in love, to walk as Christ. OK, to walk as Christ. All right. So. And, and, and when I'm saying that, I'm not uh, disregarding Native American uh, rituals and, and stuff like that. That's a whole other topic. I'm not even getting into that. OK, but I'm just saying walk in love. OK, but walk in knowledge yourself. All right. Twenty boy. Yeah.